hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial now in today's video we are going to start a new topic uh, related to uh, electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering a new section actually which is digital electronics so we will post some videos related to digital electronics we will cover a lot of uh, uh, things but we'll start with the basic concepts first okay the basic concepts the introductory concepts related to digital electronics first so in uh, these uh, first set of videos we will discuss the introductory concepts and then we will gradually move on to uh, more uh, deeper and deeper things as we did with the other thing, uh, other uh, sections or other topics so we will start our uh, the digital electronics uh, part with a very introductory but very important concept associated with digital electronics which is number system okay so we'll discuss uh, number systems first okay so let's get started so what is a number system okay this is the first question so the basic definition of a number system is that it is a code okay it is a code which uses a set of unique symbols which are placed in a ordered way okay there it consists of a set of unique symbols okay unique symbols which are placed in a ordered way so it is basically a coded representation of a set of unique symbols which convey useful data and information okay so the simplest definition of a number system is that it is a coded form of a set of unique symbols which are placed in a ordered way which convey data or information now well there are many uh, number systems can be used in different ways and and there, are, and there can be of different types but mostly in the syllabus of digital electronics four number systems are generally discussed okay predominantly four number systems are generally discussed so the first one is the decimal number system which is the most commonly used number system in any field and then the important number system which is associated with digital electronics on which the digital electronics is actually based which is the binary number system okay this is important with respect to digital electronics okay now the other one is the octal number system and the last one is the hexadecimal number system these four number systems are generally a part of the syllabus of digital electronics so we'll discuss them one by one okay so for now we are clear about the definition of a number system that it is a code which uses a set of unique symbols which are placed in a ordered way which convey us useful data and information and we will study four important number systems which is the decimal number system the binary number system the octal number system and the hexadecimal number system okay so we'll discuss them one by one so first we will discuss about the decimal number system now the decimal number system is the most commonly used number system in any field so whenever you look in uh, today's uh, world you will find the decimal number system which is commonly used and that's why it is very important so the decimal number system has the following features important features the first and the most important feature is that it has 10 unique symbols we know that a number system is a code which uses unique symbols a set of unique symbols which are placed in a ordered way so the decimal number system has a total of 10 unique symbols and those symbols are used 
to convey useful data and information by placing them in appropriate position. So, those 10 symbols are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. And using these symbols, we will form numbers. Okay? So, the base or radix of the system is 10. Now, an important characteristic of a number system, a particular family or a number system is the base or radix. They are both the same. So, the base or radix is actually the number of unique symbols that are present in that number system. So, the decimal number system has 10 unique symbols. So, that is why the base or radix of the decimal number system is 10. And base or radix, they are the same. Never get confused about it. Okay? It is the number of unique symbols that are present in a particular number system. In decimal number system, the number of unique symbols is 10. So, the base or radix is 10. Another important feature of decimal number system is that it is a positional number system. Now, what is a positional number system? It means that each position associated with a particular decimal number has a particular weight associated with it. Okay? It has a certain weight associated with it. 1's place, 10's place, 100th place, 1000th place, 10000th place, similarly 10 to the power minus 1 or 1 by 10 after the decimal point, 1 by 10, 1 by 100, that, that is what I am talking about. We have studied it in number system, in basic number system in our uh, school days. So, it is similar to that. Okay? It is the weight. What is the weight associated with a particular place? Okay? Just immediately to the left of the decimal, it is the 1's place then there is the tenth place, then there is the hundredth place, then there is the thousand, thousandth place. Okay? It is the weight of the number system which is associated with a particular position. So, we will discuss that uh, in detail uh, when we analyze each and every uh, thing, but for now you understand these features of the decimal number system. It has 10 unique symbols which are used to represent or to form numbers. That is why the base or radix of the system is 10 because it has 10 unique symbols and it is a positional number system where each and every position has a certain weight associated with it. Okay? Now, we were discussing about the features of decimal number system. Now, we will analyze the uh, characteristics such as base, radix, weight and other things. Now, whenever I write a number such as let us say 547 or just 547, what is uh, the thing that is coming in your mind? Okay, what do you visualize? It is 547. Okay? We normally refer to the decimal number system if we are uh, just looking at it like that. But when it comes to digital electronics, whenever you are studying the subject of digital electronics, you cannot just write the number like that. You have to write it in a proper way. And that proper way is to write the base or the radix of that number. It then means that this is the decimal number system or we are using the decimal number system. You have to write the base or radix. This is the base or radix of the number system which is always written along with that number. Okay? So, now 547 in decimal number system. Now, this place if we place a decimal point here, it will mean 5.47.0. So, this place, okay, just to the left of the decimal, it has a weight of 10 to the power 0, which means 1, which is the 1th place we call in number system. This place, it has a weight of 10 to the power 1, 
which is equal to 10. This place it has a power of 10 to the power 2 that is 100. So, this is the 1th place, this is the 10th place and this is the 100th place. So, we can write this as 5 into 10 to the power 2 plus 4 into 10 to the power 1 plus 7 into 10 to the power 0 which is equal to 500 means 5 into 100 is 500 plus 40 plus 7 10 to the power 0 is 1 anything to the power 0 is 1 so this is 5 47 so the weight associated with this place is 10 to the power 0 these are all nothing but weights associated with each place okay weights with each place. So, this when written in an ordered way, we get the number 547. Okay. Now, let us take another number, okay, a decimal uh, number which involves a fractional part also. Let us take that. Let us say uh, 236 point eight okay in decimal representation never forget to mention this otherwise uh, uh, one will be confused especially in digital electronics that which number system is he actually referring to uh, so always mention the base or the radix now this 236 we know this is the hundredth place this is the tenth place and this is the ones place now this one this place just to the right of the decimal point immediately this has a weight of 10 to the power minus 1 or 1 by 10, 1 by 10. This has a power or uh, sorry a weight of 10 to the power minus 2 or 1 by 100. That is the weight associated with these position 10 to the power minus 1 which is 1 by 10 and this is 10 to the power minus 2 which is 1 by 100 okay so let us just write it in a proper way so let us just write it in a proper way so if we write it it will be 2 into 100 plus 3 into 10 plus 6 into 10 to the power 0, this is 10 to the power 1, this is 10 to the power 2 we can write. Instead of writing 100, it will be better if we write 10 to the power 2, so 10 to the power 1 plus 10 to the power 0 plus 8 into 10 to the power minus 1 plus 2 into 10 to the power minus 2. So, it will be 200 plus 30 plus 6 plus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.02. So, it would be 236.82. So, this is how the decimal number system actually works. It has a base or radix associated with it. Also, it has a certain weight value associated with each place. This is the 1, this is 10 to the power 0, this is the 10 to the power 1 or 10, this is 10 to the power 2 or 100, this is 1 by 10 or 10 to the power minus 1, and this is 10 to the power minus 2, and so on, 10 to the power minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, and this also goes on 10 to the power 3, 10 to the power 4, 10 to the power 5 up to number of digits or sorry number of symbols they are present okay so this is how the number system works the decimal number system works